crafting culinary dishes that make people happy, fulfill Staff Sergeant Billy Doggett's life dream every day. I always wanted to keep pushing forward and the Army was the best place for me to keep doing that. I've gotten from the basic cookery, from how to properly cook an egg, all the way up to doing terrines and, and so on and so forth, stuff that you would learn at culinary school. World-class culinary training that Doggett says would have been difficult to afford on his own. The 26-year-old marvels at all the experiences he's achieved in a short time. I've been real, real fortunate to be able to compete in different culinary arts competitions, from Culinary Grand Prix in England to 2004-2008 Culinary Olympics 2010 World Cup in Germany as well, and I've competed here four times now at Fort Lee. In 2011, he even won the coveted title of Armed Forces Chef of the Year at the U.S. Army Culinary Arts Competition at Fort Lee, Virginia. It's the largest culinary competition in the United States. Winning Chef of the Year was one of my biggest goals, not because it was the title, but it was to really validate all the hard work that I've done over the years. Staff Sergeant Doggett's 2012 competition creations are attracting the attention of even fellow chefs drawn by the delicious aroma and his cooking style. Sergeant Doggett's skills, he works very well under pressure. Uh, he's very calm, composed, uh, one of the fastest moving pastry chefs that I've seen, civilian or military. Training Doggett credits back to his Army experience. I'm very fortunate to be able to work with some of the best chefs, not only in the military, but the world and uh, throughout our profession. So it's been, I've been very blessed to be able to work with some of these professionals. But among his greatest joys, cooking for fellow deployed soldiers and seeing the joy they get from a delicious hot meal while they're away from home. Uh, it's definitely the, the biggest morale booster. Just when guys would come back, come through the kitchen and open the door and then there I'd be with all the stuff, like just their faces and that reaction gave them the energy, the fuel and just kind of made them feel more at home even while overseas and to me that that impact was what really made a difference. And he strives to make a culinary difference with every dish he plates to continue his passion of bringing culinary delight and delicious food to fellow soldiers and the people he serves. The experience is going to the Olympics, going to the World Cup and all those things were just so great and it was just hard for me to ever walk away from that. I'm Liz Mickler reporting for the U.S. Army.